but I mean, you just need to enjoy your time the best you can, and sometimes you can't do that with a certain game, and it's not that you don't like X-Men. It just means, you know, the game is a lot to take in right now. You learned a lot off of it. You'd rather just play a game that's a little less to learn, like this game. And it's because you've played this game before. A lot of the information's gotta come back to you. Okay. However, if you dose off more than twice, we're probably gonna swap games again. DSG, it's a pleasure working with you. We'd love to throw you a welcome party, but our interior, uh, well, our error occurred in this home server system a short while ago, or an error. Currently, the systems are under maintenance, so <coughs> all functions other than the call keeper, save keeper, and bank keeper are down. The gate to the outside world is also closed, so you can't go to the other servers yet. To tell you the truth, we've never experienced anything like this before, and I'm a little wordy, wordy. But we have our DSG. I'm sure everything will be alright. Message from the DSG. Message from the DSG. 
All members who just logged in, report to Commander Ophimon immediately. Wow, you've been called already. You should find the Commander Ophimon in the Commander Room. Use the gate to the Commander Room to get there. Good luck! DSG members. You'll be a great help. We're locked inside this server due to system errors. Not many DSG members are left here, so everyone was worried. Anyway, you're still new. You may have many questions. If you need help, ask the GGLs on this floor first. They're familiar with the systems of this world. They'll surely give you useful <laughs> advice. Also, you'll need to learn Digivolve techniques to Digivolve into other Digimon forms. Some Digivolve techniques can be acquired by raising your level. And others are given to you as a reward for accomplishing special quests. So, I suggest you take all special quests whenever possible. Oh, I almost forgot. Commander <laughs> Ophimon wanted to see you. The commander is in the loop. Ah. Bubble wise, okay, don't worry. You better go now. We're counting on you to protect the peace in the digital world. So where was he? I lead the way. Because the way is to talk to every single person. The digital world controlled by a program referred as to as the prophecy. This commander room is o the only place where the prophecy can be accessed. to learn about recovering HP and MP? Yes, please. Great. What did you want to know? HP and MP discs. The HP disc and the MP disc will recover the Digimon's HP and MP. There are three recovery ranks, and the only Digimon that use them will be affected. HP disc A, B, and Y. HP and will MP disc A, B, and Y. Press the L1 button to bring up the item window. Select the disc using the D pad. Press the A button to use that item. Open the status screen with a start button. Select the disc folder, then select the item and use sort for customize. If you bring the item you wish to use to the top of the list, you will easily be able to select the item when you access the item window with your L button. You will not be able to open the item window in the home server. If you wish to open the window, you must go outside and go to an outside server. Do you have anything else you want to know? There's HP, probably. So the HP just recover. you already know, like HP increases HP, MP recovers MP. MP. Yep, there we go. 
you can see it's a really good look. There's a dot embedded in it. Huh. It's a really good look. I, I look, no, stop denying me credit. So, do you want to learn about going to other servers? Do you want to learn about the status screen? Yes, please. You can check a Digimon's parameters, bits, which is money, experience, necessary to level up, in the status screen by pressing the start button. The following can, is possible. Equipment, check or exchange your equipment folder, manage items, techniques, view skill levels, <laughs> in the equipment, you will be able to equip items to the weapon slot or armor slot or sub slot. You can switch the equipment in order of the weapon units in weapon slot, but you cannot equip device folders items in this slot. Go to the Digilab in the main lobby central area to equip weapon units from the device folder to the weapon slot. You may check items in the device folder, disk folder, key folder, and bit folder. By selecting items in the folder, you will be able to select special actions such as break, sort, and give. In techniques, you will be able to check the Digimon's learned skills, view Digivolve te tech skills, and MP tech text in advance to learn the characteristics of the Digimon. Do you want to hear the explanation again? No. If you want to an uh, uh, explanation of the status screen, please come again. Oop. And saving and loading. I don't think we want to worry about that. Okay. It's Ophimon. So, you have just joined the DSG. I've been waiting for you. Welcome to the DSG. I'm the commander, Ophimon. DSG is very important. A very important section that maintains the safety of all digital worlds. Let's fight together to maintain the peace of this world. I'm counting on you. I would like for you to carry out DSG tasks as soon as possible. But before that, I have special a special mission for you. This, this mission, if you choose to accept it. Haha, <laughs> how cliched was that? I'm sure have, that you have already heard that the server is experiencing some difficulties. Actually, a while ago, we lost contact with another server called the Yamato server, within the digital world. Immediately thereafter, a mysterious server area called Death Valley appeared. Since then, the malfunction error has spread throughout the server. Chief Leomon and a team of Digios went to survey the area. But ever since they entered Death Valley, we lost contact with them. We highly doubt that they forgot to contact us, and so we suspect foul play. Go to Death Valley and find out any kind of information regarding their whereabouts. We are going 
the Death Valley. After we check for the TTLs real quick, to make sure there's nothing we want to. So, do you want to have an explanation about MP techniques? Nothing. Okay. Let's see if there's any more tutorials or anything. About skills. Okay. And then... The relationship between wisdom and spirit. Great, what did you want to walk in, want to know? MP techniques and wisdom. Okay, the strength of MP techniques varies not only with the skill value, but also with the wisdom value in the status screen. So increasing your wisdom will increase the damage. The higher the wisdom value, the more powerful the MP technique becomes. This is important if you want to be a Digimon who uses MP techniques. I got you. Do you want... Do you have anything else you want to know? And then we have to ask about the uh, spirit. Some enemies use special ability techniques beside regular attacks. The higher the spirit value in the status screen, the less effect these techniques will have on your Digimon. So it's the resistance. If you have high spirit, you have a high resistance to those types of attacks. The spirit is an important part of parameter for any Digimon. So yeah, so that means that uh, right now you probably want to just focus on wisdom and then if you want to be resistant towards enemy magic, you just invest in spirit. So spirit's a tank stat and wisdom's a DPS stat. About attacks. Yes, please. Okay. So, type of attacks. You can attack the enemy using regular attacks or special MP techniques that require MP. Do you have anything else for And then, yes. Okay, and then a regular attack. Regular attacks use the equipped weapon unit to give you direct damage to the enemy. And that are weapon units like champions. Of Nora. You can change it if you find a different lucky one. Of course, various attacks are available depending on the weapon unit or skilled attack level. Try using different attacks. What was that last player? Regular attacks use the equipped weapon unit to give direct damage to the enemy. Of course, various attacks are available depending on the type of weapon or skill of the tech. Try using different attacks. So they're saying use different weapons and try out the different attacks and stuff. And then it would go on to about ma a mana point techniques. You can you you can provide damage to the enemy. By using, that's a fun way of saying, you can provide damage. Let me provide some damage to you, enemy. <laughs> like, lol. By using an MP technique that Digimon has learned. Depending on the type of Digimon, the MP tech that can be learned will be differ. Every Digimon will learn at least one attack type that, uh, one attack type MP technique. As MP skills increase, MP skill ranks will also increase. As MP skill ranks increase, the spears for the attack types of uh, MP techniques will increase and do more damage. Nope, I think we're good on that. Oh, 
Some DGLs have left to explore Death Valley. Since Leoman is with them, they should be alright, right? has learned, you will not be able to use the Digivolve techniques in any other area. Equip. So it means that you can't just Digivolve outside the home server, but you can Digivolve inside the home server. Equip weapon units from the device folder, so you can't just pick up a weapon in the wild and attach it. You have to come back to the home server, it's augmented and everything, which makes sense. It's trying to do things like a computer. Um, from the device folder on the Digimon, or detached from the weapon slot. It's possible to equip three weapon units to the weapon slot. In the status screen, you cannot equip weapon units by... Weapon units are the different types of weapons. Weapon units by just switching from the device folder to the weapon slot. So you can't do that. Do you have anything else you want to know? Yes. Okay, so... Digivolve Conditions. When you use a learned Digivolve technique, the Digimon will Digivolve into spe the specified Digimon. In this case, the Digimon's parameters will change to the Digivolved Digimon's parameters. For example, when a level 30 Agumon Digivolves into a level 1 or Greymon, the parameters will start at level 1. This is Duramon, the one that I picked. This is Gilmon, the one that I thought you'd pick. And then this is Vmon, the one you picked, okay? All of them are rookie level. Then, we've got Alphamon. Duramon can digivolve to Vmon level 16. Vmon can digivolve into Gilmon at level 16. Its first attack is Petty Lightning. Okay. And then. Either way. 
This is Alphamon. And in Digimon World 4, you can choose Agumon in the beginning. You can't get him by going on the Booster Pack Collection side quest. You can get him by going on the Booster Pack Collection side quest, except by the GGLs in the terminal area by collecting okay, a dungeon with only 1 HP and without recovering HP or using gates. This is done in hard mode. You choose Vmon or Dermon in the beginning. Go on Treasure Hunt side quest. Either way. This is Alphamon, a playable character. This is Buizelmon, another playable character. This is Black War Greymon, another playable character. This is Calvismon, another playable character. And this is Galen, uh, Galantmon, another Digimon, and then this is Mon. Yes, and then this is Imper Imperial Dramon, a form of Vmon, as you can probably tell. And then this is Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. And then you have Metal Garurumon. And then you've got Sasunomon. <laughs> and you got War Greymon X. And then you got War Garurumon X. One of the old forms that I'm more familiar with. But yeah. What do you think? What one's kind of called out to you more? That one. This one? No, wait. Or is this one a no? Vmon. Vmon you like the best, but I mean... Look, all of these are... So these are Megas. This one's a mega as well. This one's another mega. This is another mega. Another mega. Once again. <coughs> this one is another mega. Another mega. Is there only one ultimate? Level ultimate? Uh, Okay, but yeah, those are all the ones that we can go on. You wanted Vmon, the mini dragon. Oh yeah. Okay, Gilmon. He's, uh, yeah. Duramon is really cool. what they evolve into. Because look, okay, so there's Fresh, which is Baby 1. In training, Baby 2. Rookie is a child. Champion is adult. Ultimate is perfect, and Mega is ultimate. You do not hear the Fresh baby. No, 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 look. This is what they look like when they go into their adult, they go from their child to adult form. And then when they go into their adult form, into their perfect form, those are just those two. Be my picture here too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to feed him. I want to feed him the electric potato. Those are eggs, babe. 
So this turns this is Jeremiah. Revolutions go around like this. Chipomon, Demi Vimon, Vimon, Flamedramon, Ragermon, Magnamon, X Vimon, and Paldramon. Oh shit. We need an even bigger scale. Yeah, 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 that should work. That should be a good route. In Digimon World 4, you only get to have a specific route. You don't get to have a big route like this, but come here and look. Yeah, she's having a good time over there, man. Go over there and look closer. Can you? No, you can't see. Ooh. There's a whole little tree for showing all the possible evolutions of Demon. Okay, we gotta go to this one. One of the big ones. Yep. No, you don't get to choose a path, it chooses oh, no. one for you. We gotta go this one. No, literally, it we'll chooses restart one. until we get it. It doesn't have that available in the game. Just sit down, please. What evolution in Digimon World or in Digimon? No.
I like them. Okay, so Digimon, okay, so Duramon can digivolve into Vimon at level 16. Vimon can digivolve into Geomon at level 16, but that didn't tell us what they evolved into at level 30. In fact, level 30. Instead, the only ones available are Imperial Mon, Weasel Mon, and Metal Guru Mon. I think you'd like Weasel Mon. Let's do it. Lots of exchange a weapon unit 
from the device folder at the Digilab. Anything more? Digivolve technique, which is required okay. for Blizzelmon. Digivolve techniques are acquired after a Digimon meet a certain condition. To use Digivolve technique, you must be in the Digilab area in the main lobby central area. When Digivolve techs are used, the WU and AB the Digimon had equipped before the Digivolution will be detached from the armor and sub-slots. For weapon units, it will be switched to the strongest weapon unit in the Digivolve Digimon can equip. If the Digimon does not have a weapon unit, the Digivolve Di the Digimon can equip. You will not be able to use that Digivolve technique. So you need to have a gun before you can get Weaselmon. Do you want to hear an explanation again? No thanks. If you want to explanation, just come again. <clears throat> Do you want to learn about ability chips? Equipping them. Okay, so yeah. Ability chips can be equipped to mod attached to mod weapons and armors. Items with mod features are extremely rare, so carefully read the item descriptions. There are some items with more than three mods. Item chip ability chips can only be added to modded items currently equipped. You cannot equip ability chips on item mods that are not currently equipped. You can only equip ability chips to mod mods of weapon units in the first weapon slot. That has to be your primary weapon and it, that's how you adjust it. And you have to do all of this in like a digital. Um, yes. Where ability chips can be equipped. There are three types of ability chips. Chips for weapons, chips for armors, and chips for both. You can <coughs> equip two of the same ability chip that will raise the same parameter on the equipped item. Do you have anything else you want to know? Powering up ability chips. Ability chips can, be, can use acquired data to increase its stats. You must visit the data keeper in the main lobby, central area. You may only increase parameters four times per ability chip. There are ability chips whose parameters you can increase, and there are those you cannot, so be careful. Do you have anything else? Okay, one last thing. When the equipped item is changed. When you have switched weapons and armors with mod features equipped, ability chips will be detached. So when you have exchanged the equipment, make sure you equip the ability chips again back onto the mods. Ability chips can be equipped in the status screen or at the main digilab in the main lobby area. Okay, so any questions for me? No.
We have fresh arms, this goes up right now. Flip the shot, exchange. I can go like this. The weapon I got. Press start. Flip map. Flip the slot. And now you got a sword, a shot, pistol, and a crush arm. <clears throat>
Cinnagon. <laughs> Okay. Not carded synagogue. The whole bag's ours. Let's get a smoke it. I'm gonna grab a little bread bag. Bread bag? Wait, you got the wrong weapon. Ride a smash stick. I'm gonna go buy us some weapons. I'm gonna just stand through this. Yeah, pretty much. You already read it. Yeah, we read it in full. This bitch dummy does. <laughs> You know she does. She's clueless. You can flash her. Yeah, like, like, you have to equipment. She's clueless. Then you click shock crystal, and then you like exchange weapon slot, and then you click bash cantana. And, and look, this is how. That's the mod thing that's down there. If it was open, it'd be expanded, and I'd be able to choose some options and move my down button more. But I can't. Then we gotta go into armor. See, there's no options for armor right now. And you also got your side slot. No options here too, okay? On the side you see your resistances, your data, your spirit, which is resistance. Look, spirit is magic resistance and defense is armor, okay? Wisdom is your spell damage. Strength is your weapon damage. Meaning if you have a gun, even though it's long range, it goes off strength. Sense. Yeah. And then you also got a speed stat, which move, that increases your movement speed. Your HP is controlled by level, same with the MP. And here's your techniques, you got your ball techniques. I can turn just Durham on. Which is good with Ice, Dark, and Venom, but ha is bad at Heal Light, Freeze, and Bind. See stuff there. Go into techniques. Look, these are all the techniques you can do. You can go and become a good blunt, good slash, good stab, good bash, good shot, good crush, good blast, good let's heal, good go force. Huh? Let's go back, 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 back. I know, I'm just going through that stuff. This is where you see your techniques. Okay? This is like I have petty guys. You can go into yours and set up your gun thing. Maybe something I want to look at before you get out of this. Oh yeah. Did you go back to the menu after from the Okay. Techniques? That's a no. I asked you first, and you just ignored me, so... So, did you all... Alright, so, Agumon's strengths are Fire, Cutter, and Bomb. His downfalls are Heal Light, Resist, and Power Up. Okay, go out of that one. And then, Techniques. Okay, so he doesn't have any stuff on there, but you can increase the same stuff too. Those are like levels. No, and then, uh, well, I want to see how much damage your petty fire your fire did. Okay, so. Okay.
it stay here. Now walk with me over here. When you stand in here, what does it say over my uh, both of our health bars? Heal circle. And that's also what it looks like. Come over here, and look what it says over the health bar. things out to just remember the story plot. Okay. Sure. How the fuck do you think I remember everything? Stop it! For beginning, they're gonna have us do a practice a, a tool setup. Press the X button to use the weapon attacks. Press the circle button. Okay, so press A for attacks. Press B for your jumps. And press press X to guard yourself. damage by each weapon attack will vary depending on the weapon you have equipped. At the Digilab in the main lobby you can equip weapons that you've obtained by defeating an enemy or have purchased. Pressing the circle or pressing the B button, you can jump over small gaps or enemies on the stage. Guard yourself with the X button from enemy attacks and exercise caution because the guarded period is short. When guarding yourself, carefully monitor enemy attacks at and time pressing the square button so you don't run out of square or run out of X. Double tap the left stick in the same direction while pressing the guard button perform a slam attack. So it's sort of like how you move in Minecraft is great. The slam attack lets you push away the enemy and it's useful technique when your Digimon is surrounded by enemies. Now let's practice the basic skills I've just explained to you. In the practice stage, your Digimon won't take any damage. You can protect uh, you can practice your moves without worrying about losing HP. You can go to the next lesson once you have defeated the enemies in the stage. See? You can just dash with it.
saw me dashing them, you have to time the shield at the right time with the stick movement, and you'll dash. Spiral attack can be initially circling the stick 360 and then pressing the X button. So it's a 360 no stack. No scope. The spiral attack lets you give damage to all the enemies around your Digimon. It's important to turn the left stick carefully by observing the positions and moving in directions of the enemy. Okay, spiral attack, let's go. Okay, that's cool. You just gotta charge it up. Yep, release it. When it's at the yellow part, that's when you can... You can press uh, A on it when you get close. most of that stuff you won't have to use. You've mastered the spiral attack! Yep, now let's practice MP techniques to use the MP techniques. Stop it, you uh. bitch! Use the down... Okay, whatever. I have this press buttons. But we're gonna have to find out ourselves. Use the button note. There's one of the R buttons and you can use the down pad or the stick to select the MP technique you want to use and then press the button button X to execute it, the A button. It's kind of translating in like just it's way too fucking much work trying to stress you out and use the right things. It's whatever. You have to deal with a lot of work with not pissing me off too, so it's whatever. Each time you okay you want to do I just read it? I know this stuff pretty much already. Okay. Each time you use an MP technique, you're given a chance to improve the applicable skill. The skill improves by one point at a time. If so, basically, the more you use it, the better it gets. If the Digimon does not have enough MP required to use the MP technique, you can't use that technique. Yeah, obviously, we're kind of we're familiar with the League of Legends ways. Go to the next lesson with okay, yep, yep. Alright, so R1 R1. Okay, press a different button. Okay, was that R1? I guess it's R2, but R2. Mm -hmm. Look. The top R button. Am I pressing the right button or not? You're bringing it up, yeah, that's R1. That's not R2. Mm -hmm. X -box controls. Yes, and then you click X on it when you bring it up. No. Yeah, click X. You gotta use it. Okay, there we go. You saw it. You'll eventually get more mana when you can use it. You just use this power. So your primary power should be the long range bullets. Okay, there you go. Yep, charge attack. Press and hold the X button, so the A button, and the energy it, the energy will start to accumulate around your Digimon. For a while, the energy color will change from blue to yellow. Yep, we already know this. Come on. Hold down X and then, and then you can break stuff. 
that way too. Mm. There'll be chests that you need to break open, so. <clears throat> so, charge attack, yep. such as opening doors and clearing bridges that will emerge once all enemies are defeated. Look. You can just play however you want to play. server to start an investigation. The exploration force of Digi Elves will record all cautions and other oddities that we see. For those who follow us can use these recordings as reference for this area. Change. Change games. Yes, please, have a league. 